today here in NHL 24, I have an X Factor Choice Pack. We're going to be doing a mini pack opening. I have some packs saved up from the weekend. And I'm going to do a no money spent team update here on PS4. All right, guys. So let's start off the video with an X Factor Player Choice Pack. We're live here on Twitch. And everyone above me is saying hello. And we're going to find out if we can get McDavid or McCarr or Larkin. The three I want the most for my no money spent team. And then, of course, we'll do a team update afterwards. But we're looking for something big here potentially do a reroll. We'll see what we get in this X Factor Player Choice Pack. But regardless, we need something big. Connor McDavid, be in my pack, please. I beg. We need this for the No Money Spent squad. Although I will say the No Money Spent team is looking very good so far. We need uh, Larkin or McDavid. So card number one, Connor McDavid, please. Oh God, that's Seth Jones. That's not good. That's not good. That is not good. That's bad. That's bad. Okay. All right, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Connor is in three. Well, that was three, so you're wrong. <laughs> Come on, all right. Card number one. Kirill? Meh? Right? Meh? I guess that's better than Seth, but like, that's still not good. Come on, EA. Connor McDavid, Kel McCarr. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> that was bad, that was real bad, that was real bad. I'm gonna open up a couple packs here that I have saved up. Um, instead of doing these for like normal pack opening, we're just gonna do an elite pack, a mega pack, and a player pack. Maybe we get lucky, maybe we don't, but this is gonna help me upgrade the team a little bit and then we'll get into the team update. I am no longer live on Twitch. This is later in the day, just a heads up, but I wanna say thank you for watching. If you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe. And hopefully we can get ourselves something decent here today. Nothing in that player pack. However, I am getting gold players. And I need gold players for power-up collectibles and, uh, and sets and whatnot. So this is all helpful. If I get anything, great. If not, not a big deal. Cal Addison uh, transaction card. Kind of cool, I guess. It's uh, not a base card, at least. But uh, not really what I'm looking for for my team. Uh, we also get Jamie Drysdale there. So nothing in that pack either. And of course, we have a mega pack here. I'm just going to skip it. I don't expect anything in it. Um, mega packs are usually my least favorite. There is actually a purple in this, so, um, bang. That's sick. That's awesome. Probably gonna sell him. That is an awesome pull for me, though. That, that's huge for this team. I can probably sell him, get some coins, upgrade some other players. That's great. Give me one minute. I'll be back after I'm done selling this Artemi Panarin. We're gonna go ahead and do our team update. Five minutes later. All right, so that Panarin sold for over 80k, which means I was gonna make some big upgrades to the team. Let's go through it. On line number one, we have base Nathan McKinnon, who has been extremely good, and I love this card, and I, I don't know if I'll ever get rid of him. Realistically, one of my favorite cards in the game right now, 92 speed and excel. He's just fast. On number one center, Wayne Gretzky. Shocking, right? Well, after I got him out of that pack from doing 25 games, of course, I'm going to have him, and he's going to be my number one for quite a while, I would assume. And on the wing, Miko Rantanen at 86 overall. This card is okay. I don't know what to do with him. I don't want to move him down in the lineup because he is kind of slow, but at the same time, I don't want to have him too high up. Like, I have him on the first line right now. And, like, I don't have a replacement for him. But when I do, he's definitely moving down. Now, second line, we have Alexander Ovechkin at 87 overall. His MSP with 90 speed and excel. All 90s in the shot. Pretty good card. I can't, can't say he's my favorite. I have had some trouble getting him going. But at the end of the day, it's still an 87 Ovi. My center there is Claude Giroux, of course. The free one you get from doing the moments. One of my favorite cards in the entire game. And on the wing, we have that new Kirill Kaprizov. I ended up playing some games after stream today, six games in total, and he has two points. It's Kirill. I had him on my main team to start the year, and I will have him until I get another replacement. Uh, I mean, in 30 days, I'll get an X Factor pack, and then I'll be able to do a reroll. So no matter what, I'm going to have my heart set on McDavid or Larkin. Line three, we have William Nylander at 85 overall. This is one of his game day cards. Been pretty solid, honestly, at 85 overall on the third line. He's never had more minutes than on the third line, and he puts up a decent amount of points. Third line center is Nico at 86, one of my favorite cards in the game right now. I know he's on the third line, but I'm not going to play him over Giroux or Gretzky, but 130 points in 127 games. Great card. And the winger on this one is the MSP, Tebo Teravainen, from the Fantasy event. So he's at 84 right now. He's actually an 85 as of last night, but EA is not doing upgrades, of course. So he will be an 85, and eventually he'll probably slot into my first line once he gets to like 86, 87. For my fourth line, we have base Artemi Panarin. Obviously, I could have just slotted in the 87, but I'd rather have the coins and use the base card. 
Zero points in 47 games, and he's a minus five. He is here because he has the playmaking forward synergy, and he was on my team or in my collection already. I had him untradeable. That's it. Fourth line center is Sidney Crosby, who I am working to get up. Uh, once I have him up all the way, I mean, 90 speed and excel, decent shot. So once he's all the way up to 87, he'll probably go to the third line. Nico maybe moves down. Maybe not. I could just have four really solid centers, right? Because he has 87 faceoffs. So I could do Gretzky, Giroux, Nico, and Crosby. Or I could move Gretzky to the wing, have Giroux play number one C. I have options. I just need to wait until I get some more upgrades. And finally, on forward, we just have base Jack Hughes. He's been on the team since October 13th. Um, I'm looking for a replacement for him as well. So hopefully on Wednesday, when I have all of my rivals and champs rewards, we're going to do a big pack opening here. Hopefully I'm able to get myself some replacements. Now for the defense where I put in a ton of coin here. I just got rid of that Panarin, right? I sold him and I was able to make Al McKinnis. So I have yet to play a game with him, but at 87 all the way, have him all the way up. 87 speed and excel, 95 slap shot power and accuracy. I can't wait to try this card out. And 95 stick checking, and I have him playing with Nick Lidstrom, who's my favorite defenseman in the game. So I'm really, really hopeful for this first line D pair. Second line D pair, we have Larry Murphy, one of my favorite defensemen of all time. Obviously, former Red Wing. Really good card as well. I have him on a bunch of my teams. I really do like this card. And playing with him is the Bobby Orr at 87. We need three more power ups to get him up to that 88, but. Looks like a pretty fun card. Can't wait to get him up all the way. And when I do, I'll probably put him first line. And my third line D pair, base Charlie McAvoy with Silver Shutdown. That's the only reason he's here right now. I did have Cider and I did have Dougie Hamilton, who I might prefer if I'm being honest, but with Silver Shutdown, I got to have him on the team. And we have Paul Coffey at an 85. Again, looking for some upgrades, but uh, Paul Coffey, another really good card to have. And they're very cheap to get, so might as well have him on the team. In net, we're using 84 Markstrom, who's actually been really solid for me. Um, the, obviously, games played is broken. He's not 81 and 20. But the goals against and save percentage look pretty solid, and he has been pretty good. In terms of abilities, Kaprizov has gold wheels. Giroud with Born Leader and Quick Draw. Rantanen has Unstoppable Forest. McKinnis with Thunderclap and 1T. I can't wait to try him out. Nico with Stick Him Up and Quick Draw. Lindstrom with Quick Pick. McKinnon with Unstoppable Forest. McAvoy with Shutdown. And Panarin with Snipe. I had two left over. I guess I could take off Snipe from Panarin and put, like, third eye on Gretzky, and maybe that'll help his passing a bit, but other than that, um, no other abilities on, but we're at 55 of 55. For synergies, I only have two-way defensemen and playmaking forward on right now, working towards that shooting boost, obviously, that's why we have the backup goalie, I need to get the coach for it, but even with that, the coach, I still need two more, so we're working on it, we'll get there. Here's a look at my current record in NHL 24, and I'm gonna be honest with you, that's not my current record in NHL 24. EA fixed the game, that, that can't be right. I've definitely lost more than 23 games. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see y'all next month with another team update on my No Money Spent team. If you guys ever want to see me play with this team, I do it live on Twitch, Monday to Friday, sometimes even on weekends. I just hop in the game. So if you ever want to come stop by, the link to my Twitch channel is in the description. For now, I'm out of here. I love y'all, and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay frosty.